Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you are going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our admins, and the message reads like this. Morning, Brother Nashi. Please keep me as anonymous. I am a slave queen, and I am dying. Slowly but surely, yes, I am dying. My love for all things that are nice have led me to an early grave. After finishing high school, I got enrolled at a state university, so I was studying human resources. My family was happy that I had not succumbed to drugs, neither to teenage pregnancy. I come from a middle-income family. Growing up, we never lacked in anything. So going to university, I was okay. For starters, in my class, there were these two girls who dressed nicely in high fashion. They had the latest gadgets and went partying at the end of the week. Initially, when I approached them, they had shied away from me, but in class, I was naturally brilliant, so they would come to me for help regarding their assignments. We bonded and we became known as the trio. Every Friday after lectures, we would go Parting, that is how I met this guy whom I will call Eddie. As for Eddie, he was an established businessman who spoiled me to the core. From a basic college student, I upgraded. The money flowed in every week. I would get girlfriend allowances, not to mention the clothes and all sort of things. When I went home for the semester break, my family commented on how I had changed. Indeed, I had changed. I lied to them that life at the university campus was expensive, so I had looked for a part-time job to cover up some other expenses. The semester break ended and the lectures the lectures resumed. Eddie continued to come and see whenever he got the time he would come and see me. Sometimes he would be quiet for about two weeks and claim that he would have gone away for a business seminar. Well, I never questioned what business he was into. I did not care as the money kept flowing in. At school, I became known as the Slay Queen. I looked at the part and even smelled the part. I did not spare anything when it came to spoiling me. I loved the attention that I got and the envious stares from the other girls, the poor girls, those ones that do not have class. I even had managed to splurge on my girlfriends, the one that had introduced me to this lifestyle. One day, Eddie invited me to his house. One thing led to another, and we ended up doing the deed. When we were done, Eddie handed me a big fat envelope saying that I was going to need the money in the near future. What did he mean? Where was he going? I tried quizzing him on what he meant, but he was not giving me straight answers. He was just beating around the bush. I then left Eddie's flat. I was disappointed and went back to the compass, trying to figure what I was going to do with such lots of money. Maybe I would buy a car because catching a taxi was now beneath me. Or maybe I'll buy even my own taxi so that it can take me to school. Well, that was very stupid of me. I'll never buy a taxi. I never wanted to be a taxi owner anyway. But what would my parents say when they will see me with a car? No, a car is such a big spend. Three days after meeting with Eddie, my VJJ started being itchy. It must be yeast infection as the temperatures were starting to rise. So I resolved that the following day I would miss the lectures and go to the pharmacy and buy something for the yeast infection. I was in high spirits. Money made me feel good. Yes, money will make you feel good. That is the good thing about money. Let me go and take a shower first so that I will go and buy the cream. This was me talking to myself. It was then that I was shocked because I screamed on top of my lungs, Brother Nashi, because of what I saw. There were maggots, Brother Nashi. There were maggots that were coming out of my VJ. Yes, you had that right. Maggots that were live ones too. Where were these maggots coming from? Does a living person have maggots? There were worms that were crawling out of my VJ. I lay flat on the bed and I took a mirror, those big mirrors, to have a good look down there. What I saw made me to have goosebumps all over my body. I felt my intestines turning. What is this? What is this? What is the meaning of, the, of all of this? I tried calling Eddie, but his number was unavailable. Damn it. 
Whenever I wanted to speak with him, he was always unavailable. He must be busy, I thought to myself. Let me go to the clinic. If the disease is beyond them, then they will refer me to the hospital. I told myself, at the clinic, the nurse instructed me to lie down so that she can take a good look down there. Upon looking, Brother Nash, it was as if she were she had been hit by a huge rock. She stumbled, then she fell down, and she said, What is this? When she looked again, Brother Nash, those worms had disappeared. I was then given a referral letter that was written so that I can go to the hospital. At the hospital, I was sent from pillar to post. I was told by specialist doctors that they were doing consultations until I grew tired. But the maggots were eating away my flesh. They are very small, tiny, Brother Nashi. Those ones that are white, you usually find them on pieces of meat that are rotting. Let's say if a dog has died, you can see there are those worms that crawl out of that dead dog. Those are the worms that were coming out. I would see tiny pieces of meat on my panty every time that I will take a bath. I was very scared. I didn't want to become a skeleton. At school, I was no longer going. I was forever sick. And besides, I, know, I now knew that I had a foul smell that was coming from down there. It was bad, really bad. The friends that I thought were my friends had deserted me. I was all alone. I decided to pay Eddie a visit at his flat. I had figured out that these maggots had come from him. I thought that maybe it was an STI. There was no other explanation. It was him, no one else. Besides, he was the only person that I had ever been intimate with because I grew up in a Christian family. I arrived at his flat and there was no sign of life. It looked like Eddie was no longer staying there. I decided to go around, then I met his neighbor, whom I'll call Miss Aura, who was hanging her laundry. I asked her if by any chance she knew where Eddie had gone to. I tried calling him, for I had serious issues to discuss with him, and his phone was going to voicemail what was going on. I decided to send him a text message asking him about his whereabouts. He replied that he should not bother looking for him. I said, why? He then said, but I gave you a sizable amount of money. With that money, I should buy liver, Brother Nashi. This is what I was told, that I actually had to buy liver and put it down there so that the maggots do not attack me. He wished me very well in my life. From that day, he blocked my number and I never got hold of him again. Day in, day out, Brother Nashi, this is what I started to do. I will go to the shops and I will buy some meat. If I could not find liver, any red meat, it will be okay. I would wear it down there like a tampoon. So instead of the maggots eating my flesh, then they would eat the liver. Such became my life. I became isolated from the world. I felt ashamed. Nothing could justify what was happening to me. And I am dying slowly but surely. The money now is the problem. This money, it is running out. Yes, he gave me a huge sum of money, but I felt to invest it because I thought that more and more was going to come to me like he had promised me. He said, go baby, go. Go and enjoy this money. So before this maggots had started coming out, I said, let me enjoy this money. So I had already spent close to 100k within a short period of time so the money is now running out i decided to contact my family to tell them the truth but brother nashi i am scared to give my mother depression i do not want to give my mom depression already my mom sometimes she struggles to breathe if she does not drink her pills in time she will struggle to breathe it seems as if a heart has a problem so she is on this medication that she has to constantly take and i do not want to stress my mom anymore i have tried some local traditional illness but they just love money one guy told me that for 20k he can assist me and remove this nest. He told me that in my womb, there is a nest where these worms are staying. So I am scared. I do not want this thing to happen to me anymore. I wanted to give him the 20K, but the day that I was supposed to go there, Brother Nashi, when I arrived at his place, I saw that there was a police van and there were some CIDs that were at his place and they were claiming that he had defrauded 
these other wealthy men so that man wanted his money back i then made a u-turn and i returned back home so i am stuck brother nashi i am stuck this is what i do i go to the butchery and i buy some fresh meat as long as it is red meat and i just cut some pieces and i just insert it into my vj so that the worms can fit can feed on that fresh meat this is my own story <sighs> dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our admins it was forwarded to us by our dear sister strange things do happen in this world so as for the pictures that we use on the thumbnails or oh, those pictures they are generated by ai uh, they are not pictures of real people technology is is really moving very fast yo we don't know where this technology is going to this thing of ai it is quite scary <sighs>